So hello kids in Aiken. So you've picked up your stick horse kit from Aiken Center for the Arts and this is what you should have in it. You should have a sock, which is your horse's head. You should have a smile for your horse's mouth. This will be your horse's ears. Two eyeballs, uh, yarn for your horse's mane, thick yarn for your horse's rein, um, two zip ties to attach the stick horse to the stick. You should have a stick and you should also have um, a little piece of fabric that will serve as your horse's bandana. You also need to gather some stuff around the house, and so those things are uh, plastic grocery bags. You probably need about six or seven of those. Um, you'll need either Elmer's glue or a hot glue gun, whichever one you have around the house or prefer to use. Um, you need an old t-shirt, um, and then you also need uh, something that's about five or six inches uh, wide. Uh, we're going to wrap yarn around it. Uh, so I'm using a, a Rubbermaid lid uh, for leftovers. You could probably use a book or um, or a, a box of, of some sort if you don't have a, a lid around. Um, okay, so we are going to get started. So we need to take the old t-shirt and we're going to fold it uh, lengthwise. So you can see the arms are hanging down. Fold it again, so we kind of cover up the arms there. Okay, and then we take our stick and we roll it. Roll it around the shirt. All right. That's good. So now we need to make sure that the top of the stick, top of the stick is right about here because we want to zip tie all that fabric really tight so that your horse's head stays on. So take one of your zip ties and pull it as tight as you can. And then kind of press down and make sure that that's going to stay on there. This feels really secure. So then uh, parents should do this. Um, cut off the extra piece of plastic. Um, and so now you've got your horse's neck. And so then we're going to take the sock and our plastic grocery bag and we're just going to ball each one up and put them into the horse's well, to your sock, the horse's head. Um, and you may use more or less than I did. Um, probably around a six, seven is good. That's what fit good in this sock right here. All right, so we've got that um, all filled. And so then you're going to take your sock and you're going to put it on the horse's neck on that t-shirt. And now we have a horse's head. Okay, so now that we've got um, that part done, we're going to set that aside and we're going to work on the horse's mane. Now originally when I first started this video, my horse's mane was blue, but um, when I was filming I accidentally cut it wrong and so now my horse has a white mane. So this is what we're going to do with it. We're going to take our lid or our book, um, whatever we found around the house that was about five inches long and we're going to hold it um, with our thumb. We're going to wrap the yarn around here um, as long as you still have yarn. Keep wrapping when you get to the end. Um, then we're going to cut it and so we're just going to cut it on one side and take it. Um, you may have some short pieces that fall off and that's fine. Um, and then you're going to put this whole thing into one big knot. So just shove it through the hole. And pull. And so this is the bottom of your horse's mane and this is the top of your horse's mane. All right, so now we have the mane ready. So that's kind of what that's gonna look like. 
Um, and so the first thing we need to do is grab the ears and we're going to put, the ears are going to wrap around like this and sit on the top of the head. Um, so we're going to glue those. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun, put a strip of glue right there, put my yarn on top. Um, and be careful kids because hot glue is hot. If you're using Elmer's you're going to need to let this um, dry in between each each step. You can also speed it up with a hair dryer if you've got one of those. Alright, so so these are my ears on here and then we're going to glue, see where you think he looks good. I think that might be a good, oh, that might be a good place for my ears. So I'm going to glue that onto the side. All right, and then you're gonna want to put your eyes on, and you don't want the mane to cover them up, so I'm putting them right underneath the ears. So we're gonna put a white, white piece on, and the black piece on top of that. And you'll do that on both sides. And um, my horse seems to need a haircut, so, and I think he might want a haircut. That might be just a little bit long, so I'm going to cut the whole, whole thing a little bit short. Oh, there. That's much better. That's good. And then you're going to need to put on the smile. And put a little bit of glue on one side. And hook that on. And then we're going to glue the other side. And now your horse has a smile. And then of course you'll do the, the other side with the, the eyes on that side too. Um, and then you're going to want to put on the rein. And to do that, you're just going to put it under the horse's nose. Um, halfway, just tie a knot. Make it, make it pretty secure so it doesn't fall off. Um, and then double knot that. And then with the reins, we're going to tie those with the bandana and the other zip tie. So you'll take your other zip tie and we're going to hook this. Now it should be secure and won't fall off the stick. Again, um, parents should cut the zip tie. And then you're going to tie the reins back here. And then we're going to take our scrap of fabric to secure all of that. So this is your horse's bandana. And that should be a complete horse. Yay! <laughs>